What's up guys? Welcome to this week's cash envelope stuffing video. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're new, welcome. My name is Brianna. I am 30 years old. I live in Texas. I work full time as an office manager at an air conditioning company and I currently live in a one bedroom apartment with my boyfriend, my dog, and his cat as we save up for our first house. And if you're not new, welcome back. You know the drill over here. Today I have budgeted 400 and $60 to go across my envelopes. So let's go ahead and get started. I am going a little bit out of order today because I have some good news. I have two categories that are going to be getting fully funded placeholders today because we are done with them, at least for now. So one of them is health. I'm just going to go ahead and get into it. So as you know, maybe if you've been here before, I like to have a $500 mini emergency fund for my health category and I did finally reach $500 in there after I had to use some of it. So instead of putting more money in here today, I am going to be putting a fully funded, actually, actually, no, it's not fully funded. I'm going to do a $500 placeholder. I originally was going to do fully funded, but I don't really have like a set goal for this one. So I'm going to do a $500 placeholder instead because that's not a category that is stopping. It's always going to be getting something. So yeah, I just decided to do that on a whim. So these placeholders are going to the side and then these 20s are going to be going in here to use for the rest of the budget. And then $500 placeholder is going into health. So this is just my mini health emergency fund that I have in my savings account. And that is just very exciting because you know, I've been working toward that. And then the other one, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the way now so that I can use that money for the rest of the cash stuffing. And that is going to be taxes. So my taxes have reached $800 in my savings account, which is so exciting. And I am not going to be stuffing that anymore until October if I need to. So I have some placeholders in here. I'm going to set these over to the side and then I'm going to use this $60 for the rest of the budget. I might be a little bit over now. I'm not 100% sure. Actually, I'll count it here in a second. So we are going to be putting fully funded into taxes because $800 is all I'm putting in there until now. I will be getting my property tax statement in October and then we can reevaluate there. If $800 is enough, awesome. If not, I'll just start adding to it more in October and then the balance or the payment isn't technically due, like due, due until December, January, February, somewhere in there. So that is that. I wanted to go ahead and get that out of the way so that I could use that cash for the rest of the stuffing. But let me count this real quick to see if I have the right amount or if I'm a little bit over. So I budgeted 460, so we have 200 there. That's prop money, of course. 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, 320, 40, 60, 80, 400, 420, 40, 40, 60, 470, 480. So we are a little bit over. Let me put this 20 over to the side then. So that should be 460. So we should have enough, the right amount, I mean, for the rest of the stuffing. So I'm gonna start back over from the top like I normally would in my cash stuffing. And then we will just start from the beginning. So car care is gonna be getting $10. This is just anything car maintenance related. I like to have a nice amount saved up because you never know. So we're putting $10 in there. I have 500 in the bank, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 600, 10, 20, and 25. So 625 total is in my car care envelope. That's really good. 500 of that is like a little mini car emergency fund. I have many emergency funds in my bank account just for specific categories, just because it gives me peace of mind. Food is completely empty because we did go to Sam's yesterday and I used up the last $80 that I had in here. So I'm gonna be adding back 60. So we have $60 in there now and that'll go toward my next grocery haul. Obviously we just got some stuff at Sam's so I'm good on that for a while. And there are just a couple of things I need from the regular grocery store, but obviously $60 will be plenty. Next up is fun and I'm putting $10 in here. And tomorrow is concert day. I am so excited. I am actually going to replace some of these 10s with a 20. 
actually let's just go ahead and replace yeah I think that's right so anyway as I was saying tomorrow is concert day I am going to Dallas and I am so excited and this is just spending money so the concert tickets are paid for already so I don't have to get those and this is just for food any like shirt or anything that I want to get so we have 20 40 60 80 100 120 1 30 40 and 45 so 145 in fun which I am so happy about I cannot wait to go 145 obviously should be plenty for spending money I'm not doing any coins this week I haven't really been getting a lot of coins back so let's move back over to sinking funds and start from the beginning Brianna is going to be getting five dollars and I don't have any fives so I am going to put these down and grab a ten wait yeah and then I'm gonna grab a five sorry <laughs> so we have 10 15 and 20 and Brianna this is just like a little spending category for me in case there's something that I want to buy and I am actually running out of my moisturizer I use Dermalogica and it's really expensive but it's so good and I don't want to stop using it so I do need to restock on that but I don't know if I'm gonna take that out of Brianna or self-care or a little mixture of both but we shall see because that stuff is not cheap if you've ever used it before, you know that it's worth it though. I don't know, that price tag just hurts me when I look at it. Brianna Budgets is gonna be getting $5 and this is just for my YouTube channel or my budgeting supplies. I take anything that I wanna buy for those things out of here. So we have five, 10, 15, 20, and 25 now in Brianna Budgets. I like to buy from people's Etsy's and when I do, I take it out of there. Next up is Miss Candy. That is my dog for anyone who might not know. She is the mascot of this channel. Everybody loves her. She's the best. I did buy her some food the other day and they gave me change. So these ones will go over here. And we are going to be putting $10 back. So technically she's not gaining anything this week, but that's okay. So she has 500 in her little mini emergency fund. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 600, and 5. So still really good. Is that right? 500, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. No, 595. 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95. 595. I was going to say, I didn't think she was at 600 just yet. I hope everyone is having a good week so far. Our weather here has been better. It rained. Why do I always give y'all a weather report? Does anybody even care? I don't think so. Anyway, let's move past. I hope y'all are having a great week. <laughs> Christmas is getting 20. It gets $20 every single week. These placeholders are from Lily Budgets. Her Etsy is linked below. This one is from Sav Save also linked below and then all of my envelopes are from Lily as well so we have 100 200 300 in the bank for Christmas 20 40 and 60 so 360 total alrighty oh also my savings or not not my savings also my trackers are from Sav Saves in case you're in the market next up is clothing I don't add a ton in here, but I do want to add a little something. So we are going to be doing $10. So we have 10, 15, and 20 in clothing. I did recently spend every last bit of my clothing money. So I'm slowly adding that one back up. I don't really need to buy anything right now. So slowly but surely, we're going to be having something in there. Alrighty, next up is gifts and it is completely empty and it's actually in the negative So now that I'm thinking about it, I am gonna have an extra 20 in here or an extra 10 Because I forgot about that until I just saw it, but I did buy my mother My mother my mom her Mother's Day gift. I got her So she has some envelopes, but they don't have labels so I got her labels to put on her envelopes and I got her new wallet to store them in because I think they're just like free, like loosely in her purse. 
So I got her a cute wallet. It should be getting here tomorrow, so I'm excited to see it. So I got that for her. And then my nephew's birthday is coming up. He's gonna be six and I got him two little, I got him a toy and a book for his birthday from his Amazon wish list. So I got those. And then lastly for May is my sister's birthday, but it's toward the end of May. So I do have a little bit of time but I do need to add this back up. So we have negative $10. I believe I had 80 in here and I spent 90. So instead of cheating and putting 20 like I did budgeted, I'm just gonna put 10 in here because that will get us back to the right amount. So I budgeted 20, there's negative 10, so we now have 10. We don't like to cheat on our budget. We do every now and then, but I try to stay, you know, how we're supposed to. So health, we already took care of. There's $500 in there. I will start stuffing that again next week. Next up is home. And wait, do I have multiple of these orange 20s? Remember how I mentioned that last week? I swear I just saw one earlier. I thought I put it, I don't know where I put it, but I think I have more than one. That's silly. Okay, <laughs> home is getting 10. Oh, cool. I don't have a 10. That's awesome. Let's come back to this one. Don't let me forget. Self-care is going to be getting $20. Any 10s in here? Nope. But let's see how much we have. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150. Is that right? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 145, and 150? That's a lot. That's more than I expected, but my hair appointment is also this week. So I have concert day tomorrow. Hair appointment is the day after that. So I'm feeling excited. I feel like a new person. Taxes is fully funded. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that I don't have to stuff that one anymore. At least until October, I can put that money elsewhere, which is exciting. And then let's see here. Travel is getting 20. I have like a lot of extra money. I don't know why. I don't think I messed anything up. If I did, I'm sure you've already told me it by now, but travel has 200 in the bank, 20, 40, and 60. Am I missing something? Okay. We said, what did I skip? I don't care. Not, did I skip home? Yeah, I did. We we're supposed to put 10 in home, right? But I have a whole bunch of 20s right here. 20, 40, 60, 80. Hmm, that's weird. Let's just grab a 20 and put it in there. So we have 20, 40, and 45 in home. I'll fix that on my budget. But I don't know why we have all these 20s. It's probably because I was taking money out and I think, I don't know. I just, oh, 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 I know what it is. So on my budget, I did actually budget money for taxes and health. So I think I factored that into the total amount of cash. Yep, yeah, that is what I did because I had 460, but I didn't actually stuff health or taxes because that money is actually in the bank and I put placeholders in there. So that's what happened. But that's why I have extra money. So I'm just gonna set this over to the side and I'll use that in my next cash stuffing. So, you know what? Problem solved. We are good. Okay, let's move over to our future home binder. If you don't know, you might be new. So I just want to let you know that this is just a binder that I made with little miniature savings challenges for different things that a homeowner might need. And I am currently working on bathrooms and I have budgeted 200 for bathrooms today. And I forgot to fill in my tracker, but it is completely done. So I budgeted 400 in bathrooms and we have 400 in the bank. This is prop money just to, you know, show what we have in the bank. And then, you know what? I need to fill in this tracker and then we will be completely done with bathrooms, which is so exciting and we can move on to the next one. I'm not gonna fill this in on camera because it takes me a long time to fill in those bathtubs. So I don't want you to have to sit through that. But bathrooms is done and we can move on. That's so exciting. Let me know what you think I should stuff next. And if you don't know the categories, um, I do have a whole video explaining all the categories. So you can go check that out and see. And let me know which one you think I should start stuffing next.
Okay, last but not least, we are putting these dollars into the dollar jar. And we're not counting because it's going to be a surprise. So that's what that looks like. That is a wrap on this week's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing so. It really just helps me out and it encourages me to just keep going. You guys are the best cheerleaders ever. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and a great weekend. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.